Hi, I'm Lima Milan. In this video, we're going to look at Ableton Lies tuner device. So as you can see, I have a guitar with me and I want to tune my guitar using Ableton Live's tuner. So I have an audio track set up. My external input is where my guitar is plugged into, input one. And in order to hear my guitar, I'm going to set it to monitor in. And then a load in tuner. We can have a look at the main controls of what we have here. So this, there's two key different views we have, which is classic and a histogram view. So the histogram view is basically here, which allows us to see pitch over time. And then the classic view is more like a traditional guitar tuner, which you may see on a pedal, on a rack mount, um, or an additional guitar-based software. So if I, if I strum a chord, we'll see what condition this guitar is in in terms of tuning. So not in tune at the moment at all. So the tuner will track the pitch and suggest that it knows which pitch you're trying to go for and how close you are to that pitch. So it should be a lower E. If I strike this, but I'm sharp by 40 cents. So I basically can use the display here to see the actual uh, dot in the middle, which is my target in terms of tuning and lower the tune until I get close to there. Okay, so this is just a, just a dot view. If we go to, or target view, if we go to strobe, we can see the dot, but we'll still see, we'll see an arc of strobe movement. And basically what this was showing us is how close we are to that middle pitch. So it's another viewpoint of how we can see uh, how close we are in tuning. So if I strike the note again, So you notice if I'm too sharp, the strobe runs to the right, and then if I'm too low, it'll run to the left. So it's a really easy visual way of seeing when basically the, the sort of the rotary motion of the strobe, you want it to be staying as still as possible. So that's pretty close for that string. The other options we have in terms of uh, viewing the tuning is rather than seeing the sense, we see the actual frequency amount. This is quite good when you're using tuner on maybe a sample and you want to match a layer with it using maybe a synthesizer and you're, you're using the, the hertz or frequency uh, control of the synthesizer as well as uh, using or viewing the hertz in the tuner. You can marry up those two different pieces of information and uh, use it for that purpose. You've got a global uh, reference point in terms of the tuning. We're in concert pitch, so 440, so um, the which is middle A. And uh, we can change that if we want to go for less conventional tunings as well, just by grabbing that and moving it up or down by the available range. So I'll just reset that to 440 because that's what we're working in. And then finally, let's have a look at this histogram version. So if I put the histogram on, I just play a few different notes. So we're on an automatic zoom, but we can use the actual, the left and right to change the, the zoom and click and grab that so we can see more notes at one time. So it can be quite handy to try and transcribe uh, melodic information in a clean passive audio using tuner in histogram mode. Uh, also, it can be useful for when you're trying to work on vocals and you're not quite sure which parts of the vocal might need some sort of tuning control. You can view it in a histogram and see how sharp or flat certain notes are as well. In this video, we've had a look at Ableton Live's tuner device, how we can use it for tuning a traditional instrument plugged into our audio interface. Also, how we can use the different views to get different information for traditional instrument use or also being able to decipher the tuning of instrument or recordings of vocalists.